my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. Let's get straight into the tea. We're gonna start this video off with our guy NLE Choppa. So a happy belated birthday to NLE Choppa. His birthday was yesterday, November the 1st, and he officially turned, yes, 19 years old. It looks like NLE Choppa had a lot of fun for his birthday. Not only was he able to spend some quality time with his beautiful baby girl, Clover, and he absolutely loved that. He expressed that on social Social media that he felt like spending time with his baby girl was the best birthday gift ever but he also had a little birthday bash where his family and his friends was there and his girlfriend marissa was there as well and she surprised him with a very expensive birthday gift yes she gave him a diamond chain and it had a pendant um and on the pendant it was a picture of him and his baby girl clover super super cute super super adorable a lot of pictures and videos Videos came out yesterday of her surprising her man and Ellie Chapa with this gift and I have to say I have seen a lot of females doing this after Tyena did this a couple of years ago with G Herbo we all remember that video came out of Tyena surprising G Herbo with the diamond necklace with the pendant of I believe his grandmother in the middle and then G Herbo he got very emotional and that video went viral so a lot of females was like oh yeah I'm gonna get my man, you know, this diamond necklace with the pendant with somebody special and make him all emotional. But I want to see females change it up. Like, I feel like Ari, she really changed it up when she surprised Moneybag Yo with 28 acres of land for his birthday. That was really different. Don't get me wrong. I'm pretty sure whatever you gift your man, he's going to appreciate it. And it's not about the amount of money. That's not what I'm talking about. I just want to see something different. That's all I'm saying. I feel like a lot of people is following this trend. Nothing wrong with following the trend but let's try to be a little different here but anyways yes when this was posted guys there was still a lot of people in the comments surprised that NLE Choppa is just turning 19 and his girlfriend is older but we all know that NLE Choppa um he's been dating older women this is no surprise like almost all of his girlfriends have been older than him honestly i cannot believe that nle choppa is just turning 19 years old like i did think that he was older but y'all let me know in the comments below what do you feel about this do you feel like age matters in a relationship do you feel like it matters who's older and younger in the relationship if it's the female or male in the relationship i heard that mental maturity that's all that matters but like i said y'all let me know in the comment section below i'm very interested in hearing what you guys think about this anyways let's go ahead and move into our next topic which is going our to be guy polo g well it looks like polo g is moving right along and he's ready for a new relationship now with our girl Shaylin. now if you guys don't know who Shaylin is she is a singer and she is signed to little baby but a lot of people do know her for being friends with Des Dior and our girl Jada Weta. These three are super close. Now, the speculation not only started because these two have been liking each other's pictures on Instagram very heavy, but we seen that these two popped out with each other at a Halloween party just the other night. Of course, Polo G's sister was there as well, but Shaylin and Polo G were very close. They were right next to each other. Now, I don't know how true this is. I've seen another YouTube video on this where the young lady basically said that there was some people who was at the Halloween party who alleged that Polo G and Shaylin, they were making out at the party and they went to the bathroom to do some things. Now, I'm not sure how true that is because it wasn't any proof on that, but it is a video and I have it right here on the screen of these two, you know, right next to each other at the party now not only that guys we got some more tea on this polo g he decides to post that night and he says that he likes his girls with red hair now of course shaylin at the moment she is rocking the red hair and polo g also reposted a video yesterday to his insta story of the man basically saying it's over with for you girls i'm getting a girlfriend then polo g posted at the top and he said on bro which basically means i promise or i agree 
So I think that Polo G is definitely smitten over Shaylin, and I can definitely see these two, you know what I'm saying, revealing that they're in a relationship sometime soon or maybe later. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comments below. Do you think that this is a good match or mm, not so much? Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and move into our next topic, which is going to be Queen Key and 600 Breezy. Now, if you guys know, y'all know these two definitely don't get along. 600 Breezy and and Queen Key had something going on about a year ago with each other, but they fell out before the babies got here, said some very harsh words to each other on social media. They kept on going back and forth and it just ended there. Of course, he, she alleges that, you know, her three triplets are from 600 Breezy and 600 Breezy does not believe that those are his kids he alleged that he tried to get a dna test but she won't let it happen and ever since then these two go back and forth sometimes on social media well recently it's key she decided to post this DM from Mari. Yes, Mari from the Mari show. And he DMs Key and he says, Hey, Queen Key, I saw the comment exchange between you and 600 Breezy, wondering if you need my help with a free DNA test and would like to appear on my show let me know so she posts this on her instagram and she says mari is crazy give me a million dollars and we gone so it seems like key is definitely taking this as a joke she's not really taking it serious on october the 1st that's when say cheese reposted a picture of 600 breezy and he was basically announcing all of his accomplishments um he's been seven months clean he's been in the gym three to four weeks and he basically gives the advice don't shorten your lifespan following trends or whatever. That's when Key is queen. She decides to comment. She says, he must be training to come pick up these babies. Laughing my A off. And then she says, somebody tell him, don't nobody give a you know what because he's still a bad dad. And she didn't say that, but that's how I'm going to rephrase it as. Then that's when he comments back and he says, he wants a test. It can be so simple. Call Dana. He's sick of this stuff. Now, I'm pretty sure Key, she's still not going to get a test. But what I'm confused about is why does she post this stuff and why does she comment on things about him or things about him taking care of the babies when she basically doesn't want to give him the test to show that he is the father to see what he will do now i know it's pretty messed up and a lot of women get offended when guys ask you know for a dna test and i can see why that would be offensive to a lot of women but when you didn't really establish a serious relationship or commitment with a person before having children with them i feel like they do have a right to ask for a dna test i feel like the guys do have a right um and if you do not want to do that then you know what i'm saying you probably shouldn't really be commenting or calling him a messed up dad or anything like that because you're not willing to give him the test so he can see what he can do after finding out that the kids are his you know what i'm saying but like i said things have gotten really bad between these two and they have said some very messed up stuff so i can understand why she wouldn't really want her kids around six 600 breezy because he even says something about how he hopes the babies don't make it or something along those lines and that was very very offensive you know i understand that she had said some messed up stuff as well but things just got so bad between these two i can't even picture them co-parenting unless there's someone in the middle you know helping them do it them doing it themselves I just don't think that's going to work. I feel like it's a sad situation for these kids. You know what I'm saying? When they're born into messed up situations, a lot of us was born into some messed up situations. And I'm hoping that the generations to come can do better. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments below. Last but not least, let's get into Mr. Ken Walker. So it looks like he's a little excited for Thanksgiving. He posted this TikTok to this viral gospel song based Basically jumping around thanking the lord for these thanksgiving meals that are about to come so he's super excited i know there's a lot of other people 
who are super excited about Thanksgiving. Y'all let me know what dish do y'all enjoy the most? What are you excited to have? Is it the stuffing? Is it the macaroni and cheese? Is it the ham? Is it the greens? Y'all let me know in the comments below. Is it the sweet potato pie? I love me some sweet potatoes. I love me some yams, child. Y'all let me know what do y'all enjoy about Thanksgiving? What's y'all favorite dish? Once again, my lovely TTs, thank you for watching Room for Tea. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Turn on those post notifications. How are you going to be notified every time I upload? Load and follow me on Instagram at Room for Tea, not with one A, but with two A's at the end. And of course, I will see you in the next video.